ladies and gentlemen, all Patreon members have early access to our new shirt and pint glass. Just head over to, well, I guess patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese and get your little access link to the number six with cheese website where you can buy our great gear early. And today, it's been a long time coming. We've been trying to get the pastrami on rye from Jeff and Jude's, a Jew-ish deli for quite some time and they've been sold out of the pastrami every single time we've tried to get it and we saw they have it on there so we nabbed up a couple sandos and we're headed to pick it up right now on western very excited jeff jude sean corey we'll see you soon some of the most badass art I've ever seen on the side of a building, my god. How's it going, man? Uh, for Sean, just two sandwiches. Awesome, man. Thank you so much, have a good one. This is a very, this is a very exciting day. So efficient. All right, big day. Jeff and Jude's two pastrami on rye acquired jump cut. All right. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's see what we got here. Open the box, got the little baggie, throw this somewhere else. Open this bad boy up. Ooh, look at that bread, man. That bread is looking delicious. And then under the bread, you got the delicious, these are the like whole seed mustard, which is excellent. And then obviously this pastrami is just unbelievable. Very, very, very thick cut. And I mean, just, this is another one. If you guys could get the smell, you'd be losing your damn minds. This is amazing looking, nice and fatty and the color on there is just absolutely amazing. I mean, it's photo time. <laughs> Definitely oh, taking right. a photo of that bad boy. 100%. Do you want like a leaner or just two separate? I think on top of each other, if it balances, that always looks yeah, so insane that. vertically. Sure. That's one of the best looking ones we've seen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bread helps a lot. Is that a marble rye? I'd like a marble rye. Ah, you're lucky it's our last one. <laughs> Wait a second, that's your last marble rye? That's right. I feel like our Instagram lately is just so fire. Right. I think these are always my favorite thumbnails. All right, Jeff and Jude's pastrami on rice, 17 bucks a sandwich. Cheers. Cheers. Jesus. Mmm. 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 This is amazing. The meat, so good. Best use of mustard in a while. I was just gonna say that the mustard is amazing. I love that whole seed mustard. I forget what the exact name of it is. Whole seed or something like that. Yeah, yeah. It's so tasty. It's unbelievable. Everything works so well. The bread is obviously homemade. You can buy the pastrami by the half pound too. And why wouldn't you, you know? Mm-hmm. Budget concerns. <laughs> A hatred of bread. Oh my God. It was worth the wait. Yeah, I see why, so, dude, this does, we really have been trying to get this for like, maybe even over a month now, mm -hmm. like closer to two months. Mm -hmm. and I, it's been sold out every time and I see why. This is unbelievable. There's none left? That's what I said. <laughs> it was getting to the point where I almost drafted an email from us saying, when, wanna... when can we get yeah. it? <laughs> so I'm so glad we didn't have to do that. I'll give you $50. Now be reasonable, you cannot turn down $50 for a six dollar rye. Sean getting ready to flex on these fools. Mm. My little YouTube channel would like to come by. <laughs> like, who are you? Mm. 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 This is incredible. One of the best I've had in my life. I'd love to try it on a crispier bread. That's just my personal preference. This bread is like a mm. lot. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of the bread. Mm -hmm. It's very chewy. And I'm just like more of a meat guy than a bread guy. It's just how I am. Mm -hmm. I'd love to get this on a different vehicle. I do love rye though, of course. I'm not a fool, but it's very, it's a very bready rye. And usually when I have rye, I almost always toast it. I love this as like, almost like a patty melt. Also, if you do take the second half home, you could probably do some manipulating and get that bread a little toastier. Oh, I will. Maybe a little cheese on it or something. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, you got yourself, I call it the Ronnie Lee special. You take leftovers, you make them even better than the sandwich before. Yeah. The Ronnie Lee special. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't he the type of disgusting piglet who will eat leftover fast food? Specifically Burger King. That's disgusting. I know, but he stands by it. This is good. You know what? Let the, let the guy do what he wants to do. Someone else told me that recently and I almost had to fight him. <laughs> Patrick. Oh yeah, is that who it was? <laughs> mm -hmm. So my dad and then your manager and great friend both do that. Maybe that says something about you. Just that I surround myself with disgusting piglets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got me double dipping. You got your wife licking floss. You're the only pure one there is. <laughs> That's right. 
<laughs> and calling me pure is a stretch. <laughs> I pooped my pants twice in COVID, or during quarantine, I should say. But you were honest about it. You told people. Yep. Most people would hide that. No, nah, I poop my pants sometimes. I think. I just shat myself. Oh, it came with a pickle too. You want your pickle? Yeah. Do you want yours? They're grouped together. Yeah, I'll have a bite of it. Okay, here, take the top one so I don't touch yours. That's a good idea. I got my cat freckles. Mm hmm. You don't want to get these. You don't want this life. Good pickle. I've been in a weird pickle kick lately. The other day I was just eating the dill pickle snackers out of the jar. Oh, really? Yeah. But There's you, one you, pickle I love. Oh, really? Which one? Tommy Pickles. Oh my God, from the is Rugrats. That, yeah. That's probably the, the best pickle of all that's time. That's my favorite pickle. That's a great answer. Is Tommy, is that the right name? That was spot on. Yeah. Always wearing a diaper. Yep. Yeah, that's the guy, you know. He's got a lumpy head. I'm so glad that lived up to the height. Wouldn't that have been a bummer? <laughs> Alrighty. Well, before we go ahead and rate the pastrami on rye from Jeff and Jude's, let's do a shout out. Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out. This week and this week only, you guys have early access for the brand new N6WC X shirt. Cross shirt. The cross shirt. And then we also got the pint glass 16 ounce. You can drink beer out of it or make a mixed drink, maybe just drink juice or milk, whatever you want. Nice, heavy pint glass, and those we only had, we started this week, we only had 32 of them for sale. So go over there to patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese, you'll get the password for our website to log in and buy. And then next Monday, because people always ask, it opens up to everybody, but sides are going to be sold out. And then you're going to be, you know, you could have fixed this. Someone just asked for a lightweight sweatshirt well, for the spring coming up. I'm like, bro, you missed a chance there, buddy boy. They, we already got these shirts coming out. This is a perfect example of that problem yep. not happening to you. So uh, today, two names of people that donate. Yep, yep, yep. Patreon shout out number one goes to Ms. Don Kotecki. <laughs> Dawn's one of my favorite people on the channel. She's always super, super positive and nice and amazing in the comment section. And I love her for it. She uh, had was already at the $25 Patreon and bumped up to the $30 Patreon, which was absolutely amazing. Dawn, we appreciate your support. We love you and thank you for doing it. And um, if anybody wants to donate, patreon.com forward slash number super cheese. And Patreon shout out name number two, Kevin Bastian. <laughs> Bastian. Bastions. One dollar a month, uh, grandfathered in. Kevin jumped on there uh, when we had that tier. Now, guess what? He's a grandfather. I think that's how that works. Patreon.com, like you said, slash <laughs> six with cheese. Why I started the URL and then went to another point and went back to the URL is the most me thing of all time, and it's not a good thing. Um, time to rate, dude. Jeff Jude. All right, out of five, Jeff Goldblum and then Jude Laws to in secession. Dun, 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 dun. Out of five, how many? Jeff Goldblum slash Jeff Jude Laws, do you give the $17 pastrami on rye from Jeff and Jude's Corey? It was amazing. The meat was just so fantastic. And that mustard was so freaking good. The bread was a little bit much for me. And I, the funny thing is, is I know in my head that that's what people want when they're getting those. That's just not what I want. Mm. Um, but the meat was so freaking absolutely delicious. It was all around just an amazing sandwich. I'm going to give that a 4.85. Not much to say other than the fact that that is the sandwich. That is the bread that I like. I like my chin. That's the only cardio my face is getting, guys. So I need that chew. That's a five out of five. That's the perfect Jewish sandwich for me. Jewish sandwich. Uh, that's how I want it. Yeah, I like the way you talk. Guys, we'll be back here tomorrow. That's hard to say. We'll be back here tomorrow uh, for a brand new video. Local spot. Where are we headed? The Arch. The Arch. Very excited. Uh, so come back tomorrow. More local Chicago eats here on Number Six with Cheese. Like the video. Hit the Patreon. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey, 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 hey,